something wrong with the starter. So I hit it. Here. After I fell off my toilet, I drew this. Flux capacitor. Sneak this back to my laboratory. We've got to get you home. Hey, Doc, this is it. Never mind that. Never mind that now. Never mind that. Never mind. Why, that's me. Look at me. I'm an old man. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing here on the parking lot. Thank God I still got my hair. And what on earth is this thing I'm wearing? Well, this, this is a radiation suit. Radiation suit? Of course. Because of all the fallout from the atomic wars. This is truly amazing. A portable television studio. No wonder your president has to be an actor. He's got to look good on television. Whoa, this is it. This is the part coming up, Doc. No, 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 no. This sucker's electrical. But I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. What did I just say? The flux capacitor stores. <laughs> this sucker's electrical. But I need a nuclear reaction to, to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! What? What the hell is a gigawatt? How could I have been so careless? 1.21 gigawatts? Tom, how am I going to generate that kind of power? It can't be done, can it? God, but all we need is a little plutonium. Oh, I'm sure that in 1985, plutonium is available in every corner drugstore, but in 1955, it's a little hard to come by. Marty, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're stuck here. Whoa, whoa, Doc, I'm stuck here? I can't, I can't be stuck here. I got a life in 1985. I got a girl. Is she pretty? Oh, she's beautiful. She's crazy about me. Look at this. Look what you wrote here, Doc. I mean, that says it all. Doc, my only hope. Marty, I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. What did you say? A bolt of lightning. Unfortunately, you never know when or where it's ever going to strike. We do now. This is it. This is the answer. It says here that a bolt of lightning is going to strike the clock tower at precisely 10.04 p.m. next Saturday night. If, if we could somehow harness this lightning, channel it into the flux capacitor, it just might work. Next Saturday night, we're sending you back to the future. Okay, all right. Saturday's good. Saturday's good. I can spend a week in 1955. I can hang out. You can show me around. Marty, that is completely out of the question. You must not leave this house. You must not see anybody or talk to anybody. Anything you do could have serious repercussions on future events. Do you understand? Yeah, sure. Okay. Marty, have you interacted with anybody else today besides me? I'm... Yeah, well, I might have sort of bumped into my parents. Great Scott! Let me see that photograph again of your brother. Uh, just as I thought. This proves my theory. Look at your brother. His head's gone. It's like it's like it's been erased. Erased from existence. <laughs>